Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Limit. I'm your host, Nicole Siniza, and today we have a very special guest, owner of Base Valley Security, Mr. George Odiambo. Hey George, how are you today? Very good, how are you? you? Good, good, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to be here. I know taking care of people and protecting them is a big part of your life. Um, Can you tell us a little bit more about Bay Valley Security and how it started? Um, So basically, before I uh, opened Bay Valley Security, I um, worked as security officer myself. So I uh, I'm originally from Kenya. Mm -hmm. I came here in 1994 Mm -hmm. uh, to go to college. And while I was going to college, I worked as a security officer. And um, working as a security officer, I really enjoyed the job. Um, Paid the bills, of course, Mm -hmm. for my schooling. Um, At the same time, it was the best job uh, for a student. Why is that? Um, I happened to get an office building whereby uh, we have a um, desk there at the, mm-hmm. um, at the office whereby I could study, pretty much. So you, get, you were able to work and study? Yes. So basically paying yourself to go to school? Yes. <laughs> so it, in, in other, as long as you have your duties, whereby you have yeah. to make your rounds every hour, uh, check the building, making, making sure that um, you know, there's no, no activities, make sure all the doors are locked, and you have a little bit of um, mm-hmm. leeway whereby you could um, you know, have your books and read a little bit. Yeah. So I enjoyed doing that. At the same time, the job was getting done. How so long I, were you doing that for? I worked as a security officer for um, about 10 years while I was going to college. Um, and then when I finished uh, college, I, um, I left security uh, and worked for uh, uh, retail for, wa- for Walmart. Mm-hmm. Um, I worked for Walmart for about three years, um, and then I went, later on I came back to security again while I was doing for my, going for my master's degree. Okay, so you went back? I went, you went back. back. Okay. Um, and then after I grad- finished my master's, they, um, I, was made a, I was promoted to a manager uh, with the company that I worked for for all these years, mm-hmm. uh, which was uh, um, big company, one of the biggest company in the uh, in, uh, in, uh, United States. Mm-hmm. Uh, the company was called uh, uh, Godsmack. Mm-hmm. So I graduated um, after I, um, um, so I became a manager, basically, mm-hmm. <laughs> but a promotion from a manager. And um, uh, I became a manager for about two years and it with the experience that I had uh, working as a security officer, supervisor, and eventually a manager, I had an opportunity to see how the um, the security business works. Yeah. So, and then at the same time, also I finished my bachelor, my master's degree. Yeah. So I combined all those experiences. So you were a very busy person in that time of your life, from doing security to studying, and then once you graduated, you got a different job, went back to security. Got, and then wanted to get your master's while doing security and got promotion. And then so basically with all of these um, experiences you've had, you decided to take it to the next level. That's correct. And then here we are with Bay Valley Security. Exactly. And when was Bay Valley Security born? What year? Uh, Bay Valley Security was born in 2007. From 2009, that's where we started getting really busy. We do all type of security. Okay. We do both armed and unarmed security. Okay. Um, but majority of our clients is apartment complex. We, okay. we do have a lot of senior apartment complex mm-hmm. that we provide uh, security for. We also do a lot of stores, yeah. um, security, uh, like Victoria Secrets, uh, mm-hmm. Bath and Body Works, Sephora, oh, okay. uh, Sprouts. Yeah. Uh, we used to do a lot of CVS stores and uh, Walgreens stores as well. Uh-huh. So we also we have a lot of uh, clientele that, uh, for stores that need security. Mm-hmm. Um, we also do a lot of construction sites, uh, security. Um, th- that's also one of the um, major clients that we have. Yeah. Um, with the construction industry now um, really uh, booming, especially in the summer, mm-hmm. these needs for security. 
And how was business during COVID? It was very interesting, actually, uh, during COVID. Um, whereby we lost some clients mm -hmm. because they didn't security, especially for stores, because mm -hmm. most stores were closed. closed yeah, because everything went e-commerce. E exactly. Yeah, yeah. So we lost, lost, we lost a lot of that business yeah. whereby stores don't need security because if they're closed, what do they need security for? Mm -hmm. At the same time, we picked up a lot of business on apartment comp apartment side. Apartment yeah, because everyone was staying home. <laughs> exactly. So it, it basically transitioned from storefront to at home. So different concepts. pretty much yes yeah. yeah because most of the property managers uh were working from home yeah and if they're working from home they need somebody to make sure that the property is secure and yeah everything's going yeah. well and so we picked up a lot of that business so it kind yeah. of balanced out do you miss being out on the field and doing security well <laughs> I, I do I, actually i do go out in the field once in a while oh really um do you have like a mo like a reason like a specific mostly person? yes yeah we do have a um a, a client that we started about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they usually have an annual Greek festival. Oh, where's that? And, uh, it's in Oakland. Okay. Um, so they do have the annual Greek festival whereby uh, um, they get probably, I would say, maybe 10,000 um, um, participants in, mm -hmm. the, in, the, in three days. So it's mm -hmm. a lot of work. They need a lot of security. So usually, since I'd, I, I enjoyed actually doing it um, mm -hmm. since we started t uh, 10 years ago. So every year, they look forward, I look forward to the Greek festival, so, uh, whereby I'll be out there with the security officers. We'll work the whole shifts, mm -hmm. long shifts, 10 yeah. hour shifts um, for, the, for, the, for the three days, yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, we talked about this earlier. You do also quinceaneras, right? Like, like private parties? Yes, we yeah. do a lot of private parties. Um, uh, we have quinceanera parties, birthday parties. Um, and then we uh, have actually specific halls whereby mm -hmm. they have weddings. Um, oh, yeah. Like the uh, where you would uh, golf, the Presidio, mm -hmm. um, Castro Valley Golf, mm -hmm. uh, Metro in Oakland and Fairview, and yeah. also in San Jose, we um, both Wedgwoods, they have these two Wedgwoods out mm -hmm. golf out there in, in San Jose that we provide security for. Yeah. Um, same thing in Ballingham. Uh, yeah. The Wedgwood Golf in Ballingham, mm -hmm. we do provide security there as well. Oh, that's cool. So normally the clients, they will send us a schedule for the whole month and we'll have a security team yeah. um, um, uh, scheduled for that. Yeah, so your, op your main office is based in Oakland and you're all over the Bay Area. Yeah, pretty much. Our main office is based yeah. in uh, downtown Oakland Okay. and then we do have a sub office in mm -hmm. Patterson. Okay. Yeah, Patterson, Carter's, um, that Carter's the, the uh, Central Valley area, mm -hmm. uh, Modesto, um, Patterson, mm -hmm. uh, Tracy area. Mm -hmm. So we do have the office that cut it for that. And then for the Oakland office, that's for the Bay Area, for yeah. where, whereby we um, um, focus on San Francisco, Oakland, mm -hmm. and the entire Bay Area. And what's your favorite part about what you do? What's your favorite part? I would say uh, helping the manager with schedules, yeah. move people around. Yeah, because it, it gets a little bit challenging. I'm I, sure I used to and do that too. And I yeah. see uh, my managers they yeah. get stressed out about the scheduling. So uh, you know, I enjoy helping moving people around. Say, hey, okay, if you can schedule the person here and yeah. the person there. It's like puzzle puzzle pieces. Exactly. Yeah, that, piece that's of puzzle. Yeah. yeah so I once like, like that. puzzle is completely like, oh yes. <laughs> so. And what's next? Do you plan on maybe expanding to like more NorCal or maybe even LA? Actually, we do. We did have some business in LA. Oh, cool. Um, mm -hmm. But not at the moment. Mm -hmm. But it's something that definitely I, I like to get back to the LA market. Yeah. So, if someone were to, um, they're seeking a job, and let's just say they want to work for Bay Valley Security, what do they need to do, and where do they go to find um, basically like an application or through the process? Right. We we have a website whereby they could um, mm -hmm. go to the website mm -hmm. and pretty much uh, submit your, upload your resume. Mm -hmm. And um, also they could call the office and mm -hmm. we could let them know what positions are open. Mm -hmm. um, but most of the applicants usually they, they simply go to our website and there's an employment link whereby mm -hmm. you could click in and, and fill out your application. And is there prior experience necessary or? Uh, do you train? Like, what's the, what would be the process for some a uh, new hiree? For new hiree, you have to be at least a high school graduate. Mm -hmm. um, 
and then uh, also preferably to have a guard card that you're ready to go but if you don't have a guard card we do help uh, mm -hmm. train the security officer to obtain their guard card yeah and then once they get that guard card depending on their background the guard card could take a long time but if you have a, a clean record it, sh it should be quick and once you get your guard card then you are um, and we have a post ready mm -hmm. we'll post you the job and then we'll have you uh, trained with the uh, senior officer um, for about a week mm -hmm. um, on job training yeah and then before you you can be by yourself okay okay so it's a good it's a process and at least you provide the training and yes the, yeah but mm -hmm. the quickest way if you, um, for, for somebody if you want to work in security right away yeah. once you have your guard card then just you, apply that yeah yeah and can you tell us the website can you tell, yeah, tell uh, where we, where the audience can find it it's uh, bayvalleysecurity.com and then also for uh, people seeking for security same website same website yeah baybalisecurity.com um, so if you're seeking for a job there's an employment link and if you're mm -hmm. looking for security um, you, you want the Bay Valley to provide security at your property yeah. there's also a link for that whereby you could uh, fill out the quote yeah. and put all your information okay. on what, what is needed you hit submit button and we get the, uh, the quote whereby and then we'll get back to you and let you know what uh, uh, how much you charge yeah. and what our requirements are and okay. we'll go from there. Yeah, so all the information is on bayballeysecurity.com. Yeah, the, the first thing is to go through the training, get, get your guide card training. And you learn from the training, from the guide card training course, that you, you are not a police officer. You're not there to um, apprehend, mm -hmm. detain. Mm -hmm. Your job is to observe and is to prevent. Your, your, your primary job is to prevent. Mm -hmm. Being there as a security officer in uniform prevents a lot. Yeah. But also, if uh, you cannot prevent, if if, if, um, if something happens where where you cannot prevent it, then your job is to observe and report. Got it. Pretty much. So, so as a security officer, you, you um, a lot of people have the perception: Are you a police officer? You can gr grab people, you can arrest them. No. So that's you, the main difference between an actual police officer and a security guard or security it, officer yeah yes got it pretty okay. much yeah pretty much is to there to prevent as much as possible and to observe and report yeah so it's basically like the intimidation like okay that i'm here but then and then like knowing that the presence is in a way protected uh, it, and it does it, yeah it, it does yeah i can see that you just yeah. a possession of somebody coming to the store and it's mm -hmm. let's say if you have two stores one has a security officer one doesn't have a security officer You're, which one is the person going to go stale mostly without the security officer yes. right? yeah so it's a if, even yeah, yeah so just being there presence helps. and even at the stores w w uh, where we uh, provide security mm -hmm. most of the times sometimes they'll still with security is there but most, most of the times the way security goes on break mm -hmm. they go on lunch mm -hmm. or the security officer maybe didn't start the shift Mm -hmm. Then they'll come and grab a few things. They security comes back from break, like oh, whoa, they just grabbed a whole bunch of stuff, you know. Yeah. You know, but um, it's sad. The system. I don't know how the system, the law system. It's not the best. Mm -hmm. Whereby shoplifters just come pretty much and grab stuff and leave. Yeah, isn't there a law that as if it's? I think there's a certain amount of. Um, Items, yeah, it's, well, it's be, like, like 500 or yeah, something. Yeah, it's supposed to be that, but still, like that. It, oh, still, there's, there's yeah. a lot of the expressions in San Francisco, it's, it's just bad. So they can they, just walk out, they come in and just grab and the security and just, officer can't do anything. We're not supposed to. I feel like I learned so much from you today. I had no idea that there is a lot to um, being a security officer. So, thank you, George, for coming out here, spending the time with me, and uh, telling me about your business. Yeah, I had a really great time speaking with you. Uh, likewise, I had a great time speaking with you. And uh, thanks for having me. And uh, be safe out there, everybody. Yeah, be safe, everyone. And that concludes our episode with Beyond the Limits. I'm your host, Nicole Siniza, and we'll see you next time.